uh, Ezekiel actually was captured and went to the land before uh, land of Babylon before Daniel. There were three times the Babylonians uh, took prisoners and uh, most likely in the first of the uh, times Ezekiel was taken and the second uh, uh, group, another group came, and then Daniel went in the final one in 586, and uh, most likely in the first of the uh, times Ezekiel was taken, and the second uh, uh, group, another group came, and then Daniel went in the final one in 586, but uh, look at chapter 38. <laughs> Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. All right, Shalom. This is Hara One by Nyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say Ka Halayim, La Yahawa, by Hashem Yahawashai, by Hashem Haraka Kwadash Mama. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwati, my children, that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. As you see here, we caught another devil trying to deceive people. We caught another liar doing what he does best. Why? Because they're the father, the initiator of the lies. So they know how to lie. And their children know how to lie. Whenever you see Esau talking and they they do that, <laughs> like they like they throat real dry. They lying. They're in the middle of saying something. Yeah, so Ezekiel was in captivity before Daniel. He's lying. He, just, he was just lying. All right. That, you know, um, you have body language um, and also physical language, and both can tell the story. If somebody lying or not. So with Esau, um, his words are condemning him. So he, he just said it, as you heard for yourself in this lesson. Let's play it again. There were three times the Babylonians uh, took prisoners and uh, most likely in the first of the uh, poor Daniel. There were three, um, just back up a book, uh, Ezekiel actually, was captured and went to the land before uh, land of Babylon before Daniel. There was back up a book. See that? So he a liar. That's a liar, man. And um, so let's get into it. He basically said Ezekiel went in captivity before Daniel, which is a lie. You know, he said that uh, there were three exiles, which is true. But Daniel was taken into exile into Babylon from the first um, captivity, you know, the first exile. Then you have the second exile where Ezekiel was taken. And then you have the third exile. That was 586. All right. So he has it out of order. And he, he basically just lied. Clean, just lied, man. He can say it was a mistake or whatever. A lie is a lie. You know, false doctrine is a lie. So let's get into it, man, just to prove this point that Ezekiel did not go into captivity before Daniel. Daniel went into captivity before Ezekiel. You know, damn devils, man. So, um, so let's read. Let's start from Daniel. Let's go to Daniel first. First, I want to start off with this. We'll get John chapter 8 and 44. This is John chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil. See, and he moving in that spirit of his father, the devil, the deceivers, Esau. The lust of your father's ye will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth 
because there is no truth in him. So truth represents the light. So that where there's no truth, there's no light. Where there's no light, there's no truth. So this guy is teaching nothing but darkness, deceiving the people, vain. And the scriptures say there's no more vain person than Esau. All right. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. You know what I mean? So, born liars. All right, so let me get this real quick. All right, so they're, they're born in the same way as their forefathers. Liars, man. Thieves. Murderers. This is Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked, see, part of the wicked, are estranged from the womb, you know? So they're, they're alienated from the Lord, from righteousness, and they're in darkness from the womb as soon as they're born, just like their forefathers. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, man. See that? Speaking lies. So let's, 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 um, Let's see the lie that he was talking about again. He said Daniel, or he said Ezekiel went into captivity before Daniel. Someone told me to click on this video. I was like, I'm gonna catch him. I know I'm gonna catch him or something. And he's like, yeah, Ezekiel um, went into captivity before Daniel. <laughs> he said, what? see, look, look, let me see if I can play it. I'm gonna keep skipping back. Uh, Ezekiel actually, was captured and went to the land before uh, land of Babylon before Daniel. There were three times the Babylonians uh, took prisoners, and uh, most likely in the first of the uh, times Ezekiel was taken, in the second uh, uh, group. Uh, no he lying. <laughs> he lying. You can see it. See. What most likely happened? Nah, it did or it didn't, man. The scripture say that, man. Like, look, look. he said, what most likely happened? Look. Times Ezekiel was taken, and the second uh, uh, group, another group came, and then Daniel went in the final one in 586. But uh, look at chapter 38. All right, this is um James 5 and 12. But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by earth, neither by an, any other oath. So we're not going to be taking oaths. But it says, um, but let your yea be yea and your nay, nay, right? Because Esau wasn't taking an oath or anything over here, but and swearing. But it, it was unclear what he was saying. Lest ye fall into contempt condemnation and the scriptures say supposed to give a the trumpet supposed to give a certain sound and this guy is, is um giving off confusion well what could have happened is and daniel was taken in the the last captivity 586 everybody know that's not true everybody know that's not true he was not taken in 586 here's the proof let's get into it all right so let's go to daniel I'm going to go to uh, chapter, chapter I'm going to start from chapter 2. Daniel was taken in the first captivity, the first exile. There were three exiles. You had one exile during the time of Jehoiakim. All right. Jehoiakim, who started ruling in 609 B.C. 609 B.C. And then, uh, I think it was three years later, that's when Daniel was dealing with Nebuchadnezzar. All right, so let me get to it real quick, Slocky. We just catch, you know, catching the. Uh, you say how to catch a predator, no, how to catch a liar, and a false prophet. All right, so this is Daniel chapter one. And um, Daniel chapter 1, verse 1. Watch how clear it is. And you're going to see 
that Daniel went into captivity first and then Ezekiel, not Ezekiel, then Daniel. Uh, this is, let's go to, let's go to chapter two, verse 25 first. Um, no, let's start from verse two and one. And in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, it was the second year, when did Nebuchadnezzar start ruling? Around 606 to 605. So the second year would be like 605. Nebuchadnezzar dreamed dreams, see that? Wherewith his spirit was troubled and he, and he slept and his sleep break, him, uh, break from him so he couldn't sleep. So let's get over to the point. Uh, Daniel 2 and 25 Then Arioch Brought in Daniel Before the king in haste Right Arioch was one of the guards That were watching um, Daniel while he was in prison Alright And it says here Then Arioch brought in Daniel Before the king in haste And said Thus unto him I have found a man of the captives of Judah. All right. The children of the captivity. The captives of Judah. So he was already in captivity. Daniel. He was already captive during 605 BC. That will make known unto the king the interpretation. Now let's go to Daniel chapter 1. It says, <clears throat> Daniel chapter 1 and 1. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim. Now, let's go here real quick. All right, you got Jehoiakim who started ruling in 609 BC. He said, in the third year of Jehoiakim's rulership. Because um, the king of Egypt, uh, I think Pharaoh Necho II, put um, Jehoiakim in power after they killed Josiah, King Josiah, all right, around 609 BC. So now, three years after would be what? Take away three, equals 606. And that's when, that's when Daniel was taken into Babylon, all right? In 605, which is chapter two, he said in the second year of his rulership, That'd be 605 during the Battle of Carchemish, where Babylon was going against Egypt, and he conquered Egypt. Um, that's when Daniel got the visions, upon his, uh, uh, was able to interpret Nebuchadnezzar's uh, dream. All right, 605. So let's read this. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, so that was 606, came Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon unto Jerusalem that's where Judah's at and besieged it all right so he laid siege against it around this time and the Lord gave Jehoiakim king of Judah into his hand with part of the vessels of the house of Yahweh which he carried into the land of Shinar which is um, in Babylon to the house of his God, his idol, they worshiped the idol uh, Nebu. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. So he even took the cap the captives up there near Shinar as well. All right. Um, so where was that? So now with that being said, let's get something else too real quick. All right, this is Ezekiel 17 and two. Son of man, put forth a riddle and speak a parable unto the house of Israel and say, thus saith Yahweh, the power, a great eagle with great wings, long wing full of feathers, which had diverse colors, came unto Lebanon and took the highest branch of the cedar. Today, back then it would represent ancient Babylon or Babylon dealing with Nebuchadnezzar. All right. Um, and Lebanon would be basically Palestine or east of Jerusalem today, of Israel. And they took the highest branch of the cedar, I meaning they took 
the kings and the princes, they took Jehoiakim. He cropped off the top of his young twigs and carried, so they cropped off the top of the young twigs, represent the princes and the, the, um, the nobles, and, and carried it into a land of traffic. He set it in a city of merchants, and that city of merchants was ancient ba was Babylon. He took also of the seed of the land and planted it in a fruitful field and placed it by great waters and set it as a willow tree. All right, so that's basically uh, Israel being in captivity under Nebuchadnezzar. All right, so, all right, so with that being said, all right, so um, let's get back to it. This is Daniel. This shows more proof that Daniel went into captivity around 606, uh, 605 BC, the third year of Jehoiakim, which was um, a few years before uh, Ezekiel. So it wasn't it wasn't Ezekiel went into captivity first, and then Daniel. It was Daniel first, and then Ezekiel. All right, Daniel one, chapter one and one. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. And Yahweh gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with part of the vessels of the house of Yahweh, which he carried into the land of Shinar to the house of his God. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his idols, basically, of, his, of the gods that he worshipped. And the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of the eunuchs, which was his soldiers, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princess. See, he cropped off the top of the young twigs and brought them into the, into the uh, captivity, the land of Shinar. All right. That goes with Ezekiel 17. Children in whom was no blemish. So they, were, they were wise. They were being righteous, doing the law comp uh, perfectly. But well favored and skillful in all wisdom. So this was, we're going to find out who it was. So they were brought into Babylon during this time. And cunning and knowledge and understanding science. All right, just like uh, with, uh, just like wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 speaks about Solomon knowing the, the turnings of the earth and the orbit and the elements and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and, and whom they might teach the learning in the tongue of the Chaldeans so they wanted to teach the leaders of our people or the scholars being people like um, the nobles, the people like Daniel and uh, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. So he wanted to teach them this pagan language of Chaldea, the Chaldea language. Just like English. Then he gave them slave names. He called Daniel Belshazzar, meaning uh, ba Baal save something. Saved the king or something like that. Then you had Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These are all derogatory slave names, pagan names given to these righteous men. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank, so nourishing them three years that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. Now among these were of the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. See, they were of those children of captivity that went into Babylon first under Jehoiakim, with Jehoiakim. All right, so now let's go to Ezekiel chapter 1. 
Just because the book of Ezekiel is in the Bible before Daniel doesn't mean that he went into captivity before Daniel. It's actually the reverse. Daniel went into captivity first in the sixth century. Daniel, Ezekiel went into captivity in the fifth century. And this devil here, he don't know that. So you had the first exile, which was 609 BC to about um, 598. The second exile was around um, between 597 and 593. All right. And then you have um, the third exile, 586, was King Zedekiah. So let's read this now. This is Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 1. And Ezekiel was exiled from 593 or 592 to 571. Yeah, that squeaking up there, the neighbors listening. Weird, man. Now it came to, now it came to pass in the 30th year in the fourth month. All right, so what is Ezekiel talking about here? When he says the 30th month, this is what he's talking about. You have to go to 622. Because 622 is the date of the last Passover during the time of jo Josiah, before we went into captivity. We have Passover again later, but I'm talking about during the time of jo King Josiah who ruled from uh, 641 all the way to 609. But he held the last Passover in 622. And then that's when um, you count from that 30 years and you get this. 30th year, 592. All right, 592. So what's 592? This is Ezekiel talking now. Let's get back to it. All right, so it says here, Ezekiel chapter one, verse one. Now it came to pass in the 30th year in the fourth month. So it's giving me the exact details. So the 30th year from 622 from the last Passover, and we started falling off as a nation with Jehoiakim. And um, so 30 years later, you get Ezekiel. So three years later from Jeho from Josiah and Jehoiakim, you get Daniel. That was around 606. So 30 years later, you get Ezekiel. Now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, so I'd be around um, around March, or basically around springtime. And we wasn't celebrating the Passover at this time because we were in captivity. As I was among the captives, see, he was Ezekiel was among the captives of the second exile by the river of Kibar, that the heavens were open and I saw visions of Yahweh. So he was carried away in the spirit, just like John the Revelator. Just like, you know, just like Daniel at certain points in time. He was giving visions of the Most High while he was sitting by the water. Just like uh, George Washington Carver, you, you study him. He was sitting by the water in the river and he was giving visions, just like Ezekiel. In the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year See, of the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's captivity. See that? King Jehoiakim was the son of um, Jehoiakim. And he only ruled for about four months, from basically from December um, of 597, I think it was. December of 598, all the way to um, March. Of 597. 
So he ruled from that span period for those few four months, from the winter time in 598, December, going to, to the next year of 597. So four months, so it was around March. Then December, January, February, March, even though they weren't named that back then, but it's around that time period. So let's read it. In the fifth day of the month, verse two, Ezekiel one and two, in the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's captivity. All right, and why did he go into captivity? Because he wanted to continue making deals and pay taxes to uh, Egypt. Just like his dad, uh, Jehoiakim. But Jehoiakim was being wicked. But Jehoiakim, he wanted to uh, stick with Egypt instead of uh, dealing with Babylon. So Babylon came against him. So this, was, this happened in the fifth year of Jehoiakim's captivity. That's when Ezekiel was by the river and the Lord started dealing with Ezekiel. So he was among the captives that were taken. But Jehoiakim, you know. So Jehoiakim, the fifth year would be what? All right, so he ruled from 598 for four months into the next year, 597. So let's go from 597, he subtract 5. 5 years later. 592 again. Accurate. Alright, so from the 30th year from the, the last Passover to five, it will take you to 592. And from um, Jehoiakim's captivity in the 5th year, 592. And this is the exact point when Ezekiel was given the visions from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And it was um, in the fifth day of the month, in the fourth month, so it'd be around March or so, around that time, springtime. All right, so, so you can see clearly that Daniel was in captivity first, in the first exile with Jehoiakim and Ezekiel was gathered during the second exile. So, but let's hear what he got to say again. For Daniel, there were three. Um, just back up a book. Uh, Ezekiel actually was captured and went to the land before uh, land of Babylon before Daniel. There were three. Back up a book. Uh, Ezekiel actually was captured and went to the land before uh, land of Babylon before Daniel. There were three times the Babylonians uh, took prisoners and uh, most likely in the first of the uh, times Ezekiel was taken and the second uh, um, uh, uh, most likely it didn't happen. He's saying that Daniel was taken in 586. We know <laughs> Daniel was already in captivity, man. Way before that. Group, another group came, and then Daniel went in the final one in 586. But uh, look at chapter 38. Caught him in a lie, man. All right, let me get this Isaiah 20, Isaiah 8 and 20. All right. This is Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, man. So this dude has no truth in him, no light in him. See? Mixing the word up, saying that Ezekiel went into captivity first when he didn't. Another lie busted. Boom. 